Deputy President William Ruto now claims the opinion poll released yesterday indicating that Kenyans perceive him as the most corrupt was financed by his opponents. He maintains that the goal is to reduce his chances of becoming president in 2022. And as Stephen Leto reports, it was a day that saw Ruto unleash his anger in a manner rarely seen by Kenyans. Deputy President William Ruto went all out on Twitter and on tape, ruthlessly attacking those he accused of sponsoring the Ipsos Corruption Perception Survey that put him and Kirinyaga Governor Anwai Guru at the top. Unending headlines about William Ruto this, William Ruto that, opinion poll this, corruption the other, is sponsored by our competitors because they cannot match our development record. An arrow that is sent at night is returned by the same way it came. In the afternoon, he attended a function at State House with President Uru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga. After that, Ruto took to social media. Minutes after 2 p.m., Ruto on his verified Twitter account posted, and I quote, When my competitors are through with Monday to Sunday sponsored headlines, paid opinion polls and fake news they are welcome to real contest based on real one issues sgr roads electricity and equipping hospitals nawango jaya huko end quote a few minutes later his twitter handle was updated with a mock tweet quote those running in jili yashetani that unless your father was a minister a vice president or a president however hard you work you must remain poor and if not a pauper you must be corrupt and have stolen they should know that those without godfathers we have god the father shindwe end quote this post was deleted immediately from his account <laughs> But a similar message was repeated in his tour of Gucha in Kisi County and later reposted minutes after 6 p.m. Wapange opinion poll kwenda juu na kuteremka chini. Ati sasa ile swali kubwa wananiuliza ni kwamba ati wewe Ruto baba yako hajulikani. Hakukuwa minister. Hakukuwa vice president. Hajakuwa rais. Sasa wewe utakuwa rais na mna gani wewe mtoto amesikia. <laughs> Ruto's allies, including Nandi Senator Samson Gerard Gay and Belgood lawmaker Nelson Koech, claim there is a plot to lock out Ruto from the Jubilee succession plan to State House. Walikuja na lifestyle audit, wakashindwa na jina laizu. Walikuja na propaganda officer, wameshindwa. There is a serious profiling of the deputy president in a very negative way. Kuna wale watu wamepanga njama ya kudhulumu safari ya naibu wa rais. Kuwa wetu mwaka wa 2022. The Ipsos poll becoming the latest trigger of political confrontations. Stephen Leto, Citizen Television, Nairobi.